Yeah, I was just uh, welding underneath the truck. Uh, P.S. Um, my batteries died yesterday, so I didn't uh, get a chance to film a whole lot. But yeah, anyways, um, I just lit myself on fire. See that? Yeah. Only the cool kids light themselves on fire when you're welding. Anyways, um, I'm welding up the exhaust. Trippy. Welding up the exhaust right now. I'm, uh, had to tack it uh, there and there because she was rattling a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cut off that one, that uh, little mountain thing there, and weld it to the other side. And I'm gonna make some hangers for this uh, exhaust because she's uh, pretty wobbly, and I uh, don't like it. I don't want to have anything break off on me, so. Uh, and I weld up some exhaust hangers. Yeah. All right. Well, I got the uh, exhaust all hung. Friggin' that side's done, and uh, that side's done too. Friggin' uh, Bob's your uncle. Yeah. Okay. Got, uh, exhaust hangers. Old exhaust done. Friggin' uh, just about done our list here. Ah, uh, bottom bell housing thing, so I got those antlers right there. That's not it, it's the flywheel inspection plate. That's the wrong one though, I just pulled that. But yeah, these two things are here. But uh, I'm getting exhaust pipe made, 40 inches, and I'll just sleeve it over top of those. I'm gonna get the ends flared so that the drive shaft will slide right into it. That way, guaranteed straight. Aw, yeah. Well, just got the trailer hitch bolted on. Uh, you guys. Yeah, this thing's just friggin' awesome. It, uh, it's a direct, like it's made for this truck. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. I'll be able to pull the trailer no problem. And I got the lights wired up too. I just gotta replace this thing because uh, this terminal right here, she's just corroded to crap. I was scraping green stuff out of it, so yeah, I need a new end for it. But uh, yeah, it's not hard to do. I can do it. No worries. So yeah, I gotta clean up the box. That's my old uh, hitch receiver I was gonna use, but I, uh, focus, you son of a brick. Come on, focus, come on, come on, come on. Good camera. So yeah, um, I was gonna use this one, but it needed way too much modification to actually work, so uh, instead I think I might cut that apart. It's only uh, just tacked together there and there and a couple spots um, so I'm thinking about ripping that bar off and then uh, maybe lift in the front of my truck with it weld it uh, between the frame and the front spring hangers uh, I'll cap it of course and uh, probably oh good idea could uh no oh, never mind never mind yeah I need two of these or four of these actually because you cut it there and then pop a hole in them there and you can run uh, you can make these into the shackle hangers so you don't even have to use the stock ones but uh, yeah false alarm anyways yeah, I gotta clean up the back of the truck uh, she's freaking messy yeah she's done some of my sponsors no, I'm just kidding you guys should sponsor me though frig all pro and trail gear yeah this is gonna be my next project. Uh, this is off of uh, an old Honda motorbike. We had one at work, so we just ripped them off. Um, yeah, it almost fits. Like, look at that. It's such a close fit. Very, very, very close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbolt that uh, output flange and turn the outside down just a hair with my lathe, and then I'm gonna build a bracket. Uh, not a bracket, but like a kind of like a ring that will bolt to this and bolt to that. So this will sit flush with that and then I'll have uh, an adapter plate, an adapter ring thingy and it'll just bolt to it. Yeah. And I'm taking out so little of that outside that it won't compromise the strength at all. Plus I'll have this disc, like it'll sit really flush. I'm gonna make it really tight so that'll, if anything that'll add strength, so yeah. Then I'll have friggin' my e-brake back. Can't wait. I got the caliper for this thing over uh, on the fireplace, so I'm gonna go up and get it. Needs a little bit of work. I'm gonna do uh, custom 
thing to it. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna be lazy. I'm gonna go show you guys. Messy floor. So yeah, this guy right here needs a little bit of work. Um, it's hydraulic, but not for long. What I want to do, uh, this one's free moving, this one's seized. So I'm going to have to like cut the back, grind the, the pot off both sides and make it mechanical. Or maybe I'll just uh, make this side solid and make this side the lever side. Basically what I want to do is have, um, like I'll build something off here, weld something and it'll, it'll like move an arm that'll push down on the on the piston there and uh, push on the discs or on the, the brake pads. These things are kind of old. The bike hasn't been run in like forever. But uh, yeah. We'll see what I can uh, come up with. Well, uh, we're down here in the lathe room so uh, yeah, I'm just going to shave off just a hair at a time. I've only got uh, just a tiny bit to go, like not much at all. I think the other one's at the six, so very, very little, like maybe a millimeter, <laughs> hardly anything. So let's get turning. <laughs> on the disc brakes so yeah oh just a hair more it's so close well I'll stick her back in I can't hold the camera and do everything at the same time so yeah all right moment of truth oh yeah Bob's your freaking uncle nice that is such a perfect fit that is unreal. Oh yeah! Freaking Bob's your uncle. <laughs>